All right. Okay, this is Mr. Mullis back in uh, Mercer Machine Shop. Today we're going to look at programming our CNC. Okay, so um, a lot of you have a class that has a um, portion of it that has to deal with G-code and programming the mill in there, the CNC mill. So in other videos I've went over how to set up the mill, uh, how to start it up, how to get uh, swap to your different screens, how to put a program into the uh, monitor there. Well today we're going to look at actually what's inside the program. All right. So a good um, learning tool is the handout that you're going to be getting when you take that class. And uh, I have these handouts in the, in, in the shop also. But this particular handout is very useful because it has a structure of a program in it that you can use to write your program and it's, it's just like fill in the blank. Okay, So the first page of your, of your handout has to deal with G-codes. Alright, and this is very helpful. Um, if you can't memorize them, it's very helpful to have this with you. So as you're writing your geometry for your program, you can determine what you need to do. Okay, Use a G-code. Alright, everybody's all scared of G-code, but G-code is very simple. Okay, there's only a few little commands you're going to use to write your program and then later on in another video following this one I'll show you an even easier way of doing it, taking a program right out of the book. Okay, alright so your first page like I said is your G codes and M codes. Alright, G codes have to deal with movement and M codes have to do with the machine functions. Okay, like turning the spindle on M3 would be the M code for that. Or telling the machine to go in a straight line would be G01. Okay. So your G codes and M codes are very important. Now on the back page of that first page, you have a G code program and example wrote out. All right, and you can look at that and kind of compare it to what you're doing and get a good idea, like I said, of how to how to write a program. All right. Now we're going to flip on over to the first blank page, first um, page that has a program on it that's blank. All right, and what that is, I've, drip, I've drawn it on the board here. We're going to go over that right quick. Okay. Now your first line in one. Okay, in one. The machine is going to drop that these in numbers to you as you go through, so you don't have to put in the in one. Okay. Machine's already going to put an in one there. You have to write in your O. Okay. Now O, this is the letter O. Okay. The O word of a CNC is actually a number. Okay. Don't ask me why. All right. The O word is a number. So this is the letter O. Then you have to come up with a number that's not in use in the machine. Okay. So let's say you had 034. Okay, you type that in. If the machine takes it, then you're okay. If not, the machine will say program is already in use. You have to think of another number. Okay, it can be any number, random number, doesn't matter. But your program is going to have to have an O word or a program number right here. Okay. Now your parentheses here. After the parentheses, you're going to have to have a name for your program. It could be anything. All right, so you have to have a number, the O word, and a program name. All right. Now, once you type that in, you'll hit enter. When you hit enter, the machine will drop. I'm, I'm sorry, you'll hit insert. Okay, you'll type that in. You'll hit enter. That line will go into your program. You'll see one single line. Okay. Then you hit the I for insert. When you do that. Machine will drop down into into your program. All right, it'll be blank. It'll just be it'll just say into. Then you can start writing the next line. Okay. Now on our sheet, the next line is M6, which is a which is a tool change code. Okay. A M code is a machine code telling the machine to do something. M6 is telling it to change tools. So you're telling the machine. M6 T1. Go get tool number one for your program. 
All right. Now this is just an example. You may be using tool number 10, tool number 12, whatever the case may be. I have a tool list on the machine so you can figure out what tool you're going to need for your program. That's where you put that. Okay, you hit in, enter, it goes in, hit insert, drops down in three, and you write this line, GO, G90, your speed, S for your speed, M3, machine code, okay, telling the machine to turn the spindle on, your E number, this is an offset, okay, I covered that in a, in a prior video, you have to determine an offset to tell your program where to start at, okay? And your X and your Y. Now you can start your program right here in this X and Y, or you can put that X and Y later on in the program. It's up to you, okay? I always use it. If I'm drilling a hole, I'll start with my first hole right there, all right? So your X and Y, like I said, is an optional code out here. You could put that inside your program, depends on how you want to do it. Alright, you hit enter, it's going to drop down in 4. Now, H1, right here, the height of your tool is very important. If you notice, I got these in red on the board here. This H and tool number, that's what that is, and this tool number must correspond. Okay. Because what you're going to do is set the machine for this tool, say tool 1. You're going to set the height in the Z for tool 1. Then down here in, in this line, you're going to tell it to use that height. Okay? Now, if you have T1 and H5, the machine would use the tool height for tool number 5. That could be fatal, okay? You don't want to do that. These numbers must correspond. That way when you set that tool height, the machine knows what tool you're using and how high it is, okay? That way your Z doesn't get messed up. You don't come crash landing down and mess the um, machine up or your part up or both, okay? I'm more concerned with the machine than I am your part. So, T1... Whatever number is here, T4, T5, T12, whatever, that H must be the same. Okay. M7 is your coolant, and your Z here, if you notice, your Z is positive in this example, Z1 inch. Okay, that means the machine's going to wrap it down to one inch above your part. Okay. That's the safety thing. You always want to put this in, the Z positive. One inch, two inches, okay? I like using one inch. When I first start running my program, machine's going to go around, wrap it down to one inch, and then it's going to slow down to a feed rate that I give it later on in the program. But it's going to wrap it down to that one inch above the part and then slow down, okay? That way I have time to react. If the machine's doing something that I don't want it to do, or I made a mistake and putting the putting the program in the wrong spot and it's coming down where I don't want it to come down, I can hit slide hold and get out of that program and fix it. I got time. Okay. It's always very important to set your height number correctly and also that Z above the part one inch. All right. Now, after that, your geometry of your part comes into play, the body of your part, okay? In this handout, there's some very good examples of programs and parts that are in here, okay? And the body of the program is what comes next here, the geometry, okay? Now you're going to be using G01 for straight line or O2 or O3 for circular cuts. You might be using G83 to drill holes. All right, you could be using any of these or one or two more. All right, it just depends on what you're doing. Now your ending blocks come at the bottom of your program. After you write your geometry, you're going to write the ending blocks just like this. You don't have to change this format. You can write it out just like that. 
Okay, so that's easy. That's already done. So really, you don't have a lot to guess at. Okay, this is the same always. The, the beginning blocks are starting blocks. The body of your part, which you're going to have to come up with depending on what kind of part you're making. And then the ending block. So it's not a very hard process. Okay, use this guide. Plug everything in. Plug your geometry in. Set your Z height correctly. Okay? And then we can start running the part. And then you can make your changes from there. Once you have a safe program, once your program is doing something and it's safe, it's not going to crash land or, or tear up anything, then you can start making your adjustments to finish your part out. Mr. Mullis back again. We're going to talk about a um, preset routine in the pre-programmed um, routine in the, in the CNC that is very handy to use sometimes if you have to do a certain shape. Like for instance in this, this particular um, example we're going to use a circular pocket clean out program okay, that's already written out for us. All we have to do is fill in certain parameters and we can go ahead and write the program very easily. You don't have to go through G-code, you don't have to figure out the radiuses and all that. All you have to do is use your parameters and, and plug it in. Okay, we do the same thing when we're engraving the hammerhead. Okay, I probably showed you that before in the, in the class. Um, it's the same kind of thing. I use the um, the pre-programmed routine already in the already in the book, just write it out and plug in the parameters and use it. Okay. So right here on the board we have the L9801, which is a like I said, a, a preset routine. And what you do is put all your starting blocks in, just like we talked about in the other video. You set up your machine, put your starting blocks in, and when you get down to the geometry of your part this is what you write. Okay, This is going to make you a nice circular pattern. Um, if you want a, a hole in a piece, I use this all the time. If I have to have a certain size hole, this is exactly what I use. Whether it be a hole all the way through a part or a hole that's just uh, inside of a part, you know, a half inch deep, one inch deep, whatever the case may be. It's a very handy program and it's very easy to use. Okay, so you write your starting blocks, get your machine set up, then you write this geometry in, then you use the parameters in the book here, okay? So it says, naturally you have to put in your L9801. That's going to let the machine know, hey, I want to use this pre-programmed routine here, okay? Your R0 right here is the feed rate, okay? Your feed rate. So. At R0, you would plug in whatever your feed rate may be. Now, in this instance, we got 10 inches a minute. Okay, that's pretty fast. That's an aluminum type feed rate. Okay, aluminum or the blue wax that you use from time to time to do your um, parts. That would be an appropriate feed rate for that. Okay, then it says R1 represents the radius on the corner of the tool. Okay, R1. So the book has .01 for that. Okay, now I've always used that point zero one and not had any problem with that. All right, now if you were using a bulldoze or a radius tool, you might you might would want to put in something different. Okay, but a flat nose tool that you're just using to to make a hole in a part, your um, radius on the corner of the tool will be set at point zero one, and you'll get a very good um, result out of that. All right. Then you look at R2, and the book says represents the diameter of your pocket. So whatever your diameter may be, in this example we just have 1.75 here. We put that in, okay, and we're done. All right. So it's very easy to use. We write our ending blocks after this. Naturally, you'd have to set up your, you know, you set up your machine, your X, Y, and Z for your location to where you want this hole to be, okay. But once you get that set up, you fill out this material here and start up your machine and let it go. All right, so there's several of these in here.
Okay, there's different ones. Like I said, there's engraving, there's a circular, there's a rectangle, rectangular shape in here. So use these things if you need that particular shape. Be sure to use these and you can skip all that G-code and, and write a program in a matter of minutes. Okay? Alright, I'll see you in the shower.